This is the soot. Susan Deloney has an idling diesel train right outside her door. The train engine parks right there, so it all comes in, all this carbon. Homes and nerves are rattled along Academy Street every day as trains rest on tracks just east of the Patchog Station. Residents complain diesel engines run and run empty of passengers, not of fumes, noise, and odors. When I bought my house, I understood I'm across the street from train tracks. I just never realized they were going to just park the right in front of my house. The railroad's been here since 1869, but idling between trips, which began 20 years ago, has gotten a lot worse, especially on weekends, says the mayor. A train will come in waiting to be transferred to the main track. We'll sit along the fence here, along behind the homes, and idle. Could be 20 minutes, could be a half hour, could be an hour. The railroad explains it's not like a car. Shutdown and startup of the engines could take hours. The LIRR always strives to minimize disturbance to local residents. It's very noisy, it's very frustrating, we've been complaining. The cules have cracks in their steps and ceiling. The whole house is vibrating. Bob Goodhue started a petition demanding a fix for both Penn Station and Patchogue. They got one black eye in the city, well this is another black eye for the, for the Many times when trains idle, gates are down, traffic is tied up, a potential hazard to emergency responders. The conductor can send the electronic message that says, I'm not coming through yet, the train is stopped. Meantime, the legislator is suggesting the MTA build a buffer using a wall, plants, or trees to absorb the noise and vibration. From Patchog, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Some residents say that they will now reach out to Governor Cuomo demanding a fix to their idling train headaches.